Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think, Goku? Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kind of small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. Yes, yes indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person, got it? We're gonna have a great match. Man, he's gotten way stronger than I thought he would. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but I'm probably not going to be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way. Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah, me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We could use some quality rest right now. Well, well, look at that. Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Fine. You might be right about that. But training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. What? You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh! Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. What? All right. Keep at it, you guys. See you all at the tournament, okay? Gohan, let's go. Oh, right. Only nine days remained until the Cell Games tournament. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How Dad? Do... Uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi Chi? Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well, I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... Bring all that back, and I'll whip up a feast. I can't wait to dig into some of Chi-Chi's home cooking. Great. This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi-Chi's. All right, happy hunting. T 
Chi-Chi, will this do for the ingredients? Back already? That's my husband for you. <laughs> Can't wait to dig in. <laughs> I'll fix us something nice, so hold your horses. Ta-da! Finished. Oh, wow! It smells delicious. I tried broadening my culinary horizons for the occasion. Set your expectations high, boys! Man, I can't wait! You'll have to. No eating until we reach the picnic spot. Then let's get going! All right. It's been ages since we've gone out together. This will be fun! I'd do anything for some tasty grub, but I've never been big on this driving business. Why don't we just take the Nimbus? Way easier. Because then it wouldn't be a family drive, now would it? Plus a trip by car has a little something called ambiance. Um, is that it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Goku. Remember the first day we met? When we rode on your flying Nimbus? Of course I do. We went to see Master Roshi to borrow the Boncho fan. Yep, that's right. When I was riding behind you, I already knew that we had to get married. Huh? Really? Ah, <sighs> such beautiful memories. Since the day we were first engaged up until our reunion at the World Tournament, all I could think about was meeting you again. Mom seems happy to be spending time with Dad. When that heart disease hit him, she was really worried. I know. I should excuse myself. They'd probably enjoy a bit of time alone together. Sorry. I just remembered some stuff I have to do. Mind going on ahead without me? I'll catch up as soon as I can. Huh? But Gohan, we've been planning this for... Don't worry. I know the spot. Plus, I can fly there faster than you can drive. You two, enjoy the ride. If you say so. Shall we, Goku? It'll be just the two of us. Sounds good. See you later, Gohan. Hmm. What should I do now? Hey, someone's calling. I wonder who it could be. Hello? This is Gohan. Oh, hey, Gohan. It's me, Bulma. Can you put your dad on the line? Oh, you want dad? Sorry. Him and mom just left. He did? Oh, rats. Then I just missed him. Is something the matter? Uh, maybe. You see, we're at my place fixing up the android that Krillin brought back. He needs a replacement chip in his head, but we don't have the materials to make it. I did some research, and it looks like the metals we need can only be found in your neck of the woods. I was hoping your dad would be able to help out in that department. Oh, is that all? I'd be happy to help. I'm free anyway. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay, I'll rattle off the stuff we need. Ready? Got it. I'll have these in a jiffy. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Gohan. This isn't a bad way to spend an afternoon. All right. Hi, Bulma. Is this everything? Looks like it. Great work, Gohan. I really appreciate it. All that's left is to build the chip. Uh, uh hey, what's with that look? Uh, are you really Gohan? I am. Honest. Uh, it's a long story. I'll bet. I mean, look at you. Ah, 
Well, you are your father's son, and Saiyans are weird, so I guess this isn't out of the question. No use applying logic to you guys, anyway. She's being surprisingly calm about all this. I guess living with Vegeta's kind of numbed her. Thanks for being my delivery boy. You're the best. Uh, you're welcome. And sorry I surprised you. By the way, now that you're here, do you want to watch me fix the android up? I'm pretty sure he's safe, but you know, you can't be too careful. So do you mind staying for a bit? Oh, uh, no problem. So, this is an android. These things were built to kill Dad. There we go. It's done? Mm-hmm, almost. The chip you helped us build was successfully integrated. It may be tiny, but it's what gives the android life. Now, we stick it in the cranial chamber here, and... <laughs> Voila! <laughs> Analyzing situation. He's online. Uh, hey, you! Got a name? I am... Android 16. Scanning memory logs. I was brought here by Krillin for repairs. His memory circuits are functional. Oh, good. He's back. You did it, guys. Are you the ones who repaired me? I am grateful. Oh, <laughs> no need to mention it. If you want to thank someone, thank Gohan here. After all, he helped us fix you. Gohan. Uh, hello? Searching. Data profile found. Gohan, son of Goku. Hey now, mister. Just because he's Goku's son doesn't mean you have to terminate him. He is irrelevant. My target is Goku, not his offspring. That's so... Okay, I guess I can live with that. Mm. He's staring at me. Why? Doctor. Yes? I wish to run a field test in the nearby forest to gauge this body's functionality. Hmm, well, I don't see a problem with that. Come with me, Gohan. Your assistance may be required. Uh, really? Um, okay. Sorry, kid, but humor him. He should be all right. But we just restarted his systems, and you never know what could happen. Sh sure thing. I will go on ahead. Find me in the forest. Counting on you, Junior. R right. How's that body of yours? Hmm. Satisfactory. Diagnostics indicate 100% functionality. Glad to hear that. Um. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, do you like animals? Affirmative. They put me at ease. I like animals, too. All sorts of things interest me, actually. I'm hoping to be a scholar someday. A fine goal. I am certain you will make an exemplary scholar. By the way, are you really out to kill my dad? Affirmative. 
That is my only directive. I have no other use. As a result, I was declared defective and stored away. Huh? I loathe conflict. Therefore, as a weapon, I am defective. That's no reason to shut you down. Dr. Giraud once said, he made me in the image of his deceased son. But he was bold and daring. I am not. A war machine that shuns war is nothing but a failure. D don't say that. It's the truth. <laughs> so this is where all them cuddly critters been hiding. Who are you people? They're just folks. Looking to make a gosh darn fortune off of pelts. What? <laughs> Looks like we hit the jackpot. Can't believe we fight all these furs in one spot. They're poachers. Go on. Way ahead of you. Let's send these jerks packing. Easier than a dog in a hubcap factory. Threat neutralized. Yeah. Go on. I am grateful for your assistance in protecting the animals, as well as for assisting with my repairs. My apologies for not thanking you sooner. Oh, it's no big deal. Hmm. <sighs> The real reason I asked you to accompany me is a discrepancy between my data and your current appearance. I intended to personally reevaluate your potential in combat, but thanks to the altercation with the poachers, there is no longer such a need. Your power is immense. It far surpasses all your records in my system. I foresee you becoming the deciding factor in the outcome of the Cell Games. Me? But my dad's way stronger. <laughs> we are not so different, you and I. We aren't? Let us return for now. The doctor will be worried if we take too long. Right. Let's head back. How are 16 and I alike? How'd it go? Exceptional. I am fully operational, thanks to you. <laughs> nice job out there, boys. I heard you rounded up some poachers. Bet you socked them something fierce, huh? What morons going up against the son of Goku and a giant android, huh? It was nothing, really. <clears throat> I know. Why don't you stay for dinner? It's the least I can do to repay you for your help today. Honestly, I haven't done anything. Ah, oh, don't be silly. Make yourself at home and spend the night while you're at it. I'll phone your mother for you, okay? Okay, sure. Oh. So, Gohan's at Bulma's? I was wondering where he'd run off to. Yep, she just called and said he's staying the night, too. 
Her family's loaded. Gohan's probably having the feast of his life right now. Aren't you jealous, Goku? Well, sure. I love myself some good grub. But nothing beats your home-cooked meals. And if we're being honest, I'd choose them over any spread in the world. Really? Thanks. Even if it's just flattery. Uh, oh, I'm getting so embarrassed. Shortly after Gohan had returned home. We've just received breaking news. After having been dispatched to defeat the monster known as Cell, the Royal Guard has been utterly decimated due to one of Cell's attacks. I repeat. How terrible! Those were innocent people. <clears throat> that monster! <clears throat> Chi Chi, I need to talk to Piccolo about something. I'll be right back. <laughs> Goku! And he's gone. What does he need to talk to Piccolo about? I I'm not sure. Yo! Goku, what is it? You don't think you'd be able to go back to how you used to be before merging with Kami, do you? What? Well, merging with Kami made the Dragon Balls disappear, right? And I want to use the Dragon Balls to wish all the people back who were killed by Cell. Sorry, but it's not like flipping a switch. We're stuck together forever. Exactly why I needed to think so long and hard about it before coming to a decision. Wow. That must have been a tough call. Hmm. I know. Maybe I could ask one of the Namekian survivors to come to Earth. If he agrees to stay here, we'd have a new guardian. And you know what that means? The Dragon Balls would come back, baby! That's a wonderful idea. Wait here. Fingers crossed. With King Kai's assistance, Goku managed to zero in on the Namekian survivors' new home world. Upon arriving via instant transmission, Goku was given a hero's welcome by the planet's residents. Goku explained Earth's predicament and asked the new Grand Elder Mori if he knew any candidates suited to becoming Earth's new guardian. As luck would have it, Mori knew just the person for the job. It was none other than... Dente! P piccolo It's been too long! Wait one sec! I'll have Gohan and Krillin here in a jiffy. Let's see. What? <laughs> Guys, meet Earth's new guardian. Uh, is that really you, Dende? It's been ages. Hey, can you believe Blondie here is actually Gohan? Krillin, Gohan! It's great to see you two! Are... are you really gonna be the new Guardian? That's right! I'm really glad our paths could cross again. Dende, is it true that you can restore the Dragon Balls? Yes, I can. Making a new set would take about a hundred days. But if we use the inert set already on Earth, I should be able to have them working in no time. Really? That's perfect! We would then get three wishes, right? Same as on Namek? Yes. So, would we be able to wish back multiple people like last time? I... I suppose that could be possible. I mean, 
I'd have to make the proper adjustments. But if you did that, it would count as two wishes. All? I is that all? Fine by me. Let's do it. All right. I'll begin right away. The Dragon Ball should be restored now. Wait, what? Already? Incredible. Looks like this little guy has some serious power. All right, I'll round up all the Dragon Balls then. Gohan, consider your training complete. Kick back with Dende until the Cell Games start. Huh? B but Hey, don't worry. It'll be fine. Later. So, are you ready for the showdown with Cell? That's great! Good luck! Everyone was focused on the fight ahead, and before they knew it, the fated day of May 26th had finally arrived. All right, time to go! Don't you dare die on me, Goku! Don't worry, I won't, Chi-Chi. And my little Gohan better not fight! What? Well, uh, um... Promise me, Goku. Promise me Gohan won't fight. Look at the time. Bye. Hey. My little Gohan's going to fight. I can feel it. Hey. There you are. It's almost time. Wait, where's Vegeta? Don't tell me. Is he in the hyperbolic time chamber again? He went on ahead of us. Gotcha. Man, he's really raring to go. Uh, yeah. Well... Whoa, why is everyone so down in the dumps? Goku... We've got some bad news. We can bring back a lot of people at once using just one wish with the Dragon Balls. Just like before, we can't bring back anybody that's died once already. I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner. What? That's all? Relax, Dende. We just won't die. It's as simple as that. Won't die? Uh, you do know that we're up against Cell, right? Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's get going. We're gonna be late. How are you this calm? You're starting to freak me out. Come on. You want to get left behind? So, are you coming too, Krillin? Uh, yeah. Only 20 minutes left until the Cell Games begin and the fate of the planet is decided. Cell can be seen standing motionless in the center of the ring. The vile monster, Cell, is threatening to wipe out all of humanity. Only one man can stand against such evil. The World Martial Arts Champion, Mr. Satan! That's right, Mr. Satan has come to save us from certain doom! Listen up there, Cell. I got you all figured out. You use a bunch of light shows and trick bombs to destroy the city and the military. But let me tell you, those toys won't work on me. <laughs> Who is this clown? But 
Vegeta. I'm surprised you've got the guts to come here and show your face. <laughs> well, looky here. You're still alive. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like you've had a little bit of work done. They flew too, right? Just another trick, that's all. <laughs> You're finally here. I've been waiting for you, Goku. I've been waiting. The Cell Games begin. That should be everyone. Welcome. They all... They all just flew, didn't they? <laughs> I guess uh, uh, that trick's uh, pretty popular these days. Sixteen! Looks like you're back in working order! I owe you my thanks, Krillin. And you too, Gohan. Glad to see you're better now, Sixteen. Let's give it our best! Goku, I was created with the sole purpose of killing you. Do not forget this. Man, this guy's nothing but gloom and doom. It's time. Let us begin. I don't care who's first. As the world martial arts champion, naturally that would be me. That guy? He's dead meat. I say we let him go for it. If, uh, well... When he dies, we'll just bring him back with the Dragon Balls. Jeez, guess we're gonna have to. This is it, folks! The battle to protect the planet is finally underway! The Cell Games have begun! Yeah! Take this! And that! Oh, you're irritating. <laughs> Mr. Satan! Mr. Satan has been knocked out of the ring! He's lost the match! Well then, let's begin the Cell Games, shall we? M mr Satan lost? But, but, but how? I, uh, I just lost my footing. I'm gonna take a break, uh, and then I'm gonna mess him up real good. He still doesn't have the slightest clue what he's dealing with. World champion, my ass. So, who's first? Well, I guess I'll go first, if that's okay. Well, well. In the interest of transparency, I was hoping to save you for the end. Bring it! I can't wait to see you. Fighters, but if there's someone close to their abilities, I'm sure. 
I must say I'm rather impressed. I wasn't expecting to have this much fun. <sighs> you better eat one of those sensu beans, Goku. I'm having way too much fun to stop now. If we give Goku a sensu bean and all of us team up on Cell, we can take him down. That's enough, Trunks. You don't have any pride as a Saiyan, do you? And you don't know him at all. He would rather die than beat his opponent in such a way. But if we just let this go on... He can do it. I'm certain of it. I hate to admit it, but no matter what I do, I couldn't go beyond Kakarot's level. He's some sort of genius. But even as powerful as he is, Cell is still one step ahead of him. So what are we supposed to do? He's got something planned, I can tell. Let's just find out what that is. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? I don't want the fun to stop here. You win. I'm dropping out. I've got a good idea how strong you are now, so... I think I'm done now. What? What? He's forfeiting the match? What the hell is he thinking? Goku, you do know what you're saying, don't you? You do realize that once you've run out of people to fight me, every last person on the planet will have breathed their last breath. You got the wrong idea. You still have plenty of people to go up against. Can I choose who goes next? Would that be okay with you? Are you seriously going to forfeit? I got a feeling about this next match. It'll probably be the last one. If your next opponent can't beat you, then it's safe to say that nobody can. But just based on what I was able to learn while fighting you myself, I'm pretty confident this guy will have no trouble taking you down. What? Get it now? That's why I'm fine with dropping out of this thing. <laughs> All right, you piqued my interest. Just who is this mythical fighter you won't stop going on about? The next one up to fight Cell is... He is the only one who's capable of taking down Cell. I don't think I can fight. Calm down. I wasn't going to ask you anyway. Really? I mean, that's just too bad. If only my stomach weren't acting up. I know who it is you are considering. I also know that what you are doing is a mistake. Well, hmm. I know who it is you are considering. 
I also know that what you are doing is a mistake. Well, I disagree. Hmm. You seem like you know what you're doing, but just who is this person you're talking about? Just trust me. Okay, Tien? I know you're not talking about me, Goku. But who could possibly be stronger than you? Oh, someone is. Trust me. It's him, isn't it? You're not actually thinking of making him fight, are you? Wow, Piccolo. You seem to know who I'm talking about. Good guess. Seriously? Wait, you're not talking about me, are you, Goku? Oh, uh, sorry, Krillin. It's not you. <sighs> That's a relief. Uh, I mean, oh man. <laughs> Goku, are you sure about all this? Oh, I'm sure. This is all part of my plan. Trust me. I hate to admit it. But you're stronger than I am. At least for now. But who the hell is better than you? Oh, Vegeta. You're in for a real shock there. I find that hard to believe. Gohan, you're up. Uh. What? Huh? What did he just say? Gohan, you ready? You, you want me to fight Cell? Goku. You're being completely ridiculous. If you couldn't handle Cell, then what makes you think Gohan can? Gohan's hiding way more power than any of us realize. It's downright unreal, you guys. He started tapping into that power while in the hyperbolic time chamber. I never could have imagined this. Here, you gotta check this out. So you know I've gotta ask, Gohan. Did you have any trouble keeping up with my fight with Cell earlier? Well, no, but that's because you two weren't fighting at full power, right? I can't speak for Cell, but me? I was fighting at my full power, but it seemed like I was holding back to you. Am I right? <clears throat> Gohan, is that true? <laughs> Do it, Gohan! You want to be a scholar, don't you? Then save the world, otherwise you'll never get the chance to become one! Uh, okay, I'll do what I can! So I'm going to fight Cell! <laughs> 